first documentary this year. Yeah. And, um, it's about a transgender teen in Detroit that uh, they got killed. So this is advice to anyone um, struggling with coming out to the world or their parents. The first thing that you should do is not tell your parents that you are gay. Tell them some shit like you're a graffiti artist at heart, you have spray paint for emotions, and then hope that your home is not listed as abandoned because of the, because of the illegal colors that their tagger has left on the window. Second thing, if you are out, always wear a watch. Because when the unexpected hit from a pipe cracks up your skull like the punchline of a bad Tracy Morgan joke, you look down at your wrist, know exactly what time it was when God treated your sexuality like a joke that his bloody sense of humor has been waiting years to laugh at when your father's fist turned into space shuttle and your face becomes his moon, leaving your eyes all dark and crater like you get up the next day, wear a word faggot like an expensive pair of sunglasses, carry Zakia's gun in your mouth, you shoot back at every homophobe that tries to ruin you with their words, bring a fruitcake to every <coughs> Christmas party that you'll never be welcomed at. Aww. Tell the kid, tell the kid, Aww. curious about your gender, that you are not a boy or a girl, you were born a hate crime and act under a magnifying glass a reason to be burned by the son and the son of God and the son of any family member who believes that Westboro Church should stand outside of soldiers funerals picking it and pissing oh. outdated Bible verses on their bravery remember that your status will always be two Facebook comments away from family members raising money to bury you a cab ride and a change away from your fiery torso being found on the east side of Detroit, you will be thrown off of airplanes for being in love, out of church for being in touch, banned from sports for being open, raped by your military to seem more American. They will cross streets to not share a sidewalk with you. Die of thirst before drinking from a water fountain that you've used, throw cocktails through your colors, and D.L. Hughley will still say, that this shit ain't no civil rights movement. Oh. Dying over taking dick and picking cotton are just not the same. This world cares nothing about how many clocks we own. There will never be a right time for us to be ourselves. So when you leave home, make sure your picture is just how you want to be remembered. Just in case you could turn as someone else or not at all. Lastly, when the footsteps behind you start to get closer and the ground starts to sound like a gun range. You open up your arms like your back is a bullseye and a god is the target. Back to that one conversation you had with your parents about being a graffiti artist and prepare for your emotions to be paint.